Hello, welcome back to Johnson Family Times. I am Kevin. I am making this video keeping a promise that I made in the last upload that we would do an update video since we haven't posted in two months and actually this is coming out a lot later than I was wanting it to but I'm still kind of busy doing other things. Sorry about that. With that said, we did film a lot of our trick-or-treating adventure and it just never turned into a video and it is unseasonably late to be posting said video if I were to do it right now so I'm just going to include the clips in this video we went to the pumpkin patch and then we went trick-or-treating you know sometime after the pumpkin patch because you know that's how it goes it's fall you get your pumpkins and then you carve them, you put them out on the porch, and then put a little candle in there, light them up, and then about that time is when you go trick-or-treating. Let me say that this year was kind of weird on the trick-or-treating front. There was not many houses participating. There were a few, a bunch of kids out trying to get their candy, but not many houses were actually participating in handing out of the candy. And I'm no expert or anything but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was that way you know globally you know due to maybe a storm that we are going through right now so yeah that was that was quite a bit of fun so now let's get into why we haven't been uploading as regularly as we have been all year it all starts with the company I work for I work for a building here locally I don't know if we've ever said where I live but Jefferson Jefferson Wisconsin Anyway, I work for a building here, and the owner of that building also owns a wreath-making company. So every year around this time, I am yeeting wreaths around. Yes, that's right, yeeting them. I am yeeting them onto the truck and delivering them. It takes a lot out of me. It takes a lot of time out of my day, and just by the time I get home, I don't even feel like looking at a computer. But I still pushed through because I continue to upgrade my setup here over those two months. Like this microphone that I'm talking through right now. I have it. It's a better microphone than the no microphone I had before. I also got a nice graphics tablet. I don't know how to pronounce the name of it, so here it is. I also got a couple of pieces of software. I got Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer for doing thumbnail related things and other stuff and the biggest thing that I got and I did put a little clip in one of our last videos Horicon Marsh I did put a little clip from the new drone in there it is a DJI Mavic Air 2 it is a very nice drone that that gets into the next part here so I got that and I realized that any kind of video that I post on my YouTube channel though I am not monetized is furtherance of a business I believe is what they call it so the whole time that I was doing the wreaths I was also enrolled in an online course drone launch Academy studying to get my part 107 and very recently I actually went and took the test I passed with a 90% might I mention I could have done better but 90% is still great and I am now part 107 certified so you'll be seeing a lot more drone activity going on in our adventure videos and that will be leading to other business ventures that I am also working on but we will talk about that at another time also we got a new member of the family he will probably show up quite a bit in our videos in the future we did have a bird named Caesar he was a large cockatoo he had a couple of violent experiences with our little boy T, unfortunately, so we did have to rehome Caesar. He is in a very loving home now. He even has a fellow bird there. So with a bird-shaped hole in Emily's heart, she decided it was time to get ourselves a parakeet. We now have a parakeet. His name is Nimbus, and he is doing just fine. We've had him for a couple of days now, and he can already jump up on your finger. He's happy to be out of his cage and with people. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, but you'll be seeing more of him. Other than that, family's been safe and healthy 
So this video brings us pretty much to the end of the year. We do have one more plan that is Baby T's first year. It'll be a kind of a tea update slash Christmassy type video because that's what time we are getting into now. It is Christmas time. So if the video doesn't come out before Christmas, Merry Christmas. Um, thanks for watching. And as always, have a Johnsonish day. Also follow us on Facebook. You can search us uh, Johnson Family Times. We used to say follow us at JFAM Times on Twitter. I have not been using it and I don't really plan on going back. So find us on Facebook. We'd be glad to have you there. You can see some other points of view, not just our videos. We post other things there. We're trying at least. But anyway, yep. Thanks for watching. Have a Johnsonish day. Later.